Hello friends, in this video we will learn how we can rotate the elements of an array that is suppose we are given an array of n integers and we have to rotate it by k positions to the right which means if we have this array of 6 integers and we are given the value of k as 1 thus we have to move every element one position to its right that is the element at 0th index that is 1 will now be at index 1 Similarly, 2 will be at index 2, next would be 3, then element 4 would be at index 4 and element 5 at index 5. And now as we are at the end of our array and we still have one element left, so we will place it at index 0. Thus we are moving in a cyclic fashion. Similarly, if for the same array the value of k is 2, then we will move every element by two positions to its right that is our element 1 will now be at index 2 and our element 2 will now be at index 3 similarly 3 would be at index 4 and 4 would be at index 5 and now as we have reached the end of the array we will go to its beginning thus 5 would be at index 0 and finally 6 would be at index 1 now let's see how we will actually do it Suppose this is the array A given to us with 4 elements 1, 2, 3 and 4 and we have to rotate this array by 2 positions that is the value of k is 2 and as we know the value of n is 4 as we have 4 elements and what we will do is we will create another array B which will contain the rotated elements. So we will start traversing our array A from the 0th index to the n-1 index which is 3 in our case and for every element we will use this formula that is we will make p of i plus k modulo n equal to ai and this would copy the rotated elements to our array b. So let's actually do this to understand how our formula works. So let's create a table for every value of i we will calculate i plus k modulo n and then we would copy the elements to our array b. So for i is equal to 0, i plus k modulo n would be 0 plus 2 modulo 4 which would be equal to 2. Thus b of 2 will be equal to a of 0 which means we will copy element 1 at index 2 in the array b. Next for i is equal to 1, 1 plus 2 modulo 4 would be equal to 3 which means we will copy the second element which is 2 at third index in our array b. Moving forward for i is equal to 2 i plus k modulo n would be 2 plus 2 modulo 4 which would be 4 modulo 4 which is equal to 0. Thus we will copy the third element at 0th index in array b and finally for the last element i is equal to 3 Thus i plus k modulo n would be 3 plus 2 modulo 4 that is 5 modulo 4 which is equal to 1. Thus we will copy the last element at one index in array b. So now if we observe using our formula i plus k modulo n we have successfully rotated our array by k positions to the right. So in this formula what we are doing is with i plus k we are shifting every element by k positions to the right and with modulo n we are keeping the check that if we reach the end of the array we will start placing the elements from the beginning that is in our example when i plus k is equal to 4 and index 4 is out of bounds for this array so 4 modulo 4 would be equal to 0 and we would reach the beginning of the array and we will start placing the elements from there and this will work for any value of k. Now let's implement this using C++. We start our rotate array function which takes an array a, its size n and the integer k by which we have to rotate the array. So firstly we declare our array b of size n and an integer i to traverse the array. Then we start our for loop to traverse the array and we make b of i plus k modulo n equal to ai which would copy the rotated elements to array b 
and finally we can display the rotated array by printing every element of p this was all for this video thank you for watching